and approved by the committee. Nice to have a minister in your back pocket, huh? Or at least his hands in your pocket. Cross him. Get full of it. Am I? You've won this round, Jacob. Many more to come. to kill his father before in Lagos. Was this reported? No. Oh, so no case, nothing? No, no case, no nothing. I was at the La Pule in Ilobo, and I had five friends with me. You know what? Why don't you just give them a call? Did your father think of you when he sidelined you in favor of this bastard? So put it out of your mind and step into his shoes. Actually mad. If you want to take on Bola Abayomi out of a sense of justice, it is our support. But if you do so purely for your business interest, you would be making a very serious mistake. Thank you. Bola has left the country. He bribed mortuary officials and took my father's body back to Nigeria. He is acting as the de facto head of that will. This is a copy of our father's final will and testament. In it, he clearly states that Jacob is his son. And he outlines how he wants Abami to be run after his death. This is not the real will. We have the real will. Anything decided in Joanne's work is a product of an unstable mind. You challenge this, you're challenging tradition. You challenge Abayomi tradition. You will fail. Remove him. Well, uh, if you remove him, you will have to remove me too. So be it. Emeka. Yes, sir. Sit down. Did you witness this document? I have not seen the document you are talking, sir. You've not seen it? As I said, I've not seen what you are holding. Well, if you've not seen it, it means you don't agree with the claims that it makes. Yes, sir. Uncle Bakari. <laughs> it somehow says that you witnessed the document. Is this true? I don't know what you're referring to. Well, it's obvious it's just a fabrication to stain the memory of my father. Emeka, you are my father's right hand man. Uncle Bakari, you are his left. Will you both be mine? We will. We are honored. Hmm. The honor's all mine, gentlemen. That's all. You may all go now. Scrutinize the original of your father's will and its legality is beyond dispute. As executor, 
you'll provide the Nigerian courts with this original copy of the will, and the probate process will be a mere formality. How will that play out? Abayami assets will be held in probate until the legal niceties have been completed. How long will that take? My father was in the middle of a critical new business venture. I think this should be swiftly resolved. Now, regarding my father's funeral, I want to make sure that it's done according to his wishes. You're the executor. You have a right to demand that. <laughs> my brother Bola had my father's body illegally removed from Johannesburg and brought here. The body is lying in state in the Abayami compound. And then he forcibly removes me and Mr. Makuba from the premises. I will hand this will into court and petition for you to be given custody of your father's remains, which will allow you to bury him as you wished. Thank you. You think because a man bows and grovels, you have his loyalty? I need them, politically and financially. See, Emeka and Bakari. They hold the key to all the doors the father kept locked. They would rather choke on the keys than give them to you. You underestimate me. Gentlemen, thank you for coming. Gentlemen, good morning, Mr. Jacob. How are you? This is very difficult for my king. Good to see you. We're here because we owe it to you and your father. So this document contains the information known only to your father and to ourselves. A trust that will help you. Well, thank you. I appreciate your loyalty. I wish we could do more. But you are witnesses. Bola claims that the will is a forgery. I do not need to tell you what will happen if we do not support this claim. We can get you to safety, to Joburg. We are old enough to take care of ourselves. We have children and many grandchildren. We do not have a choice in this. Well, I think you need to do what you have to do. Thank you, Miss Falake. May God prevail. Jacob, what are we going to do now? I'm going to have to talk to him. Bola, about what? Offer him a truce. Tell him there's a place in the sun for him here at Abayomi. <laughs> you must be joking. Look, we're either going to have to take him head on or outflank him. Jacob, we have been down this road before. Well, I'm just going to have to be more persuasive. What choice do we have? I just feel like I'm losing him to the Abayomis. First, it was that meeting in Lagos. Then it's the father thing. Then there's murders, midnight visits from cops. And then, of course, there's Paula. Like, I mean, every time she calls, he just drops everything to go and see her. Must be hard for you. Yeah, I just miss the life we had. To tell you the truth, I'm scared. Of Jacob? No. Of those Abayomi people. I mean, can't. Can't you just talk to him? Ask him to get out of this whole thing. I'm afraid Jacob doesn't really listen to me anymore. I'm losing him too. Hey. Come on now. What's really going on? Scared and alone. I'm going through this pregnancy by myself. Jacob is not there for me. Plus, I didn't force him to marry me. I didn't. And I want him to love me for me, not because of the child. It's never easy being married to a powerful man. But you have to look at the benefits, I mean, the long-term benefits. You and your child will be taken care of. It's not about the benefits. I don't want a man who's going to take care of me. I want a man who's going to love me.
approval. Bola. Can I offer you a drink? Ah, uh, no. I make it a point not to drink with my enemies, huh? Look, there's no personal agenda here. I'm just carrying out the wishes of our dead father. I don't accept he was your father. And I don't accept that forged will either. Is there any way we can resolve this without extremes? Have you no consideration for your sister? Mm. Mm. No. She's turned her back on our family. Understand me, Makubu. You can settle nothing. You're a foreigner, a nobody. You don't belong anywhere near Abayomi. Then understand this. I will take my place at the head of Abayomi, just as our father wished. But for the sake of family and business, I want to offer you a place, a position. You offer me. Jacob, you need to go. I'm not leaving you here. I have to stay and hold our corner. Let the lawyers do what the lawyers do. Let you and I get back to Joburg and regroup. I'm not leaving here with my tail between my legs. Oh, and I'm supposed to. With me, it's it's just personal. You and I both know that Bola is going to contest that will. The second he does, Abayomi assets will be frozen until there's a court order. Yeah, I know. And we need that finance to underwrite both the power plant and the oil concession. If we miss a single drawdown, it'll raise questions about the feasibility of this power plant. You know, I've been reading Bakare's documents, and I think we might have a way out. There's funds we can access, and all we need to do is transfer them to South Africa. But it's going to be a short-term solution. Well, get Bada onto that, and let's get back to Joburg and do what we need to do. Jacob, what about our father? Let Bada get a court order saying that the police will escort the undertakers to the compound. They'll take father's body, put it in a mortuary until the court determines the validity of the will, then we'll come back and bury him as he wanted. Jacob, you know, it, it's really tearing me apart, not being able to bury him. Father's priority was Abayomi Inc. That should be our priority, too. gave it to me when I was 18. Said um, the Japanese used it for business principles. It never actually made much sense to me until now. I was struck by this passage. One whose troops repeatedly congregate in small groups here and there, whispering, has lost the masses. Appropriate, don't you think? Then, I found the solution to my problems in chapter 11. In order to regain control, I must strike down the one I love most as an example to other gossipers. Bola, your father's priest is still with us. Quiet, uncle. But I have a decision to make. In which hand will it be? The right? the left. The one who's shown unflinching loyalty towards my dear father. Or the uncle who's shown more kindness to me than even my own father. Bola, I beg now. No be with that sweet boy before before. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. That sweet boy. 
was taken for a fool. I have no further use for him. Do you take me seriously now? Yes. Mr. Bada. Mr. Bayomi, can you talk? Yeah, what news have you got? Well, the interdict was successful, and I accompanied uh, the police and the undertaker to the compound. But I'm afraid Bola had gone ahead. He buried your father earlier today without ceremony in the family compound. Oh my God, Bola's had my father buried. Tell him to file for an exhumation immediately. <sighs> Mr. Bada, let, let me give it some thought. We'll speak later. You know, everything, everything my father stood for, Bola just wipes it out. Sorry, my mind's on other things right now. Fine, I guess I'll just take another book to bed. Should you be drinking? Champagne is good for breast milk. Besides, it actually makes me feel good. Something you haven't done in, I don't know, 11, 12 days. Maybe. Just say it. Say what? You don't find me attractive anymore. Now, what makes you think that? My third... It's so big, you could park the Abayomi jet under it. <laughs> it's not funny. In the world of fame, yours is by far the sexiest one. I'll get that. Maybe it's someone who actually wants me. Hi. Evening. I'm Inspector Mukwena. I'm looking for Jacob Makubu. At this time of the night? I'm afraid so. Whatever. Well, we have some information. Our surveillance cameras suggest that someone removed the body. The body's in Lagos. It was buried yesterday morning by Bola, Abayomi. Are you sure of this? I just got back from Lagos. And you identified the body? Uh, no, but others did. So he exported the body? Well, I would call it an export, but yes, he took it. Look, what do you charge someone who's been caught uh, stealing a body from, from a police mortuary? Uh, theft, interference with an official investigation. And once you charge him? We get in touch with the Nigerian authorities. Oh, is there a, an extradition treaty? As far as I know, yes. So you do extradite him? Well, we need to process the case, make a recommendation, and it is evaluated separately. How long does that take? I don't know. But we need statements. As soon as we have the statements, there will be a warrant. Well, gentlemen, let's get started. Mr. Makubu. See? Um, you work out here? Uh, what do you think? This body comes naturally? <laughs> Occasionally I do, yeah. Um, I heard about uh, Ambrose paying all that lobola. Great story. 
So when's the big day? It was going to be next month. Uh, then Ambrose got called to Sao Paulo conference and um, the month after I'm in Pumalanga for a couple of weeks. So it will happen when it happens, you know. One has to be grown up and pragmatic about these things. Oh, I still need to deal with the N1 and I'm not in a carpool. Uh, right, who is? <laughs> I'm thinking of getting like a whole group of mannequins, dressing them up <laughs> in suits and hats. If the cops stop you, tell them you're going to a Botox yeah. convention. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. As you may appreciate, Ms. Abayumi, we've heard disturbing rumors of a split in Abayumi. Well, let's dispel the rumors and deal with the facts. My father's death in no way changes our commitment to the power plant. In fact, my father's vision is to build a pan-African business, and South Africa is an integral part of that. But who exactly runs Abayumi? Do you have the authority to give us any reassurances? Yes, my father's wishes on this are very clear. Jacob is the new head of Abayumi. Jacob. Mm. <laughs> well, Ms. Abayumi, Kumalo and Associates have made a massive financial commitment to this project. Can you assure us that our investment is safe? Yes, I can. The power plant is bang on schedule and Abami is committed. Well, then let's make one thing clear. Should there be any hint, any hint whatsoever, of Abami being incapable of making its financial stake as promised, we will withdraw from the consortium. Are we clear on that? Abami is not a Mickey Mouse operation. We run an A-rated investment portfolio. But I appreciate your frankness. But I really hope you'll start listening to your analysts, not gossip mongers. <laughs> There's absolutely no cause for concern here. Jacob, they're jumpy. It's a holding maneuver. But there's no way around it, Fulag. If Bola gets his way, we're headed for crisis. Well... We're just going to have to hope the court see it our way. Yeah, well, suitcases filled with dollars have a way of changing people's minds, don't they? We got one hell of a Nigerian vehicle here, Prospero. Concessions are becoming available on a vast sector of Nigerian oil acreage. That may be so, but no offense. What chance do a pair of oil juniors like you stand against the American majors? In a word, first-hand engagement. That's three words. Do I speak English? Hey, you want a word? I'll give you a word. Mobility. We got it. The majors don't. We get our people in there on the ground. We stay there till the job is done. Shell or Chevron fly a suit into Nigeria for the day. Then they get him the hell out of there. We embed ourselves with the locals. Do what it takes. So you're looking to a consortium? We joint venture. Raise 200 million equity in London and acquire exploitation acreage. Now, you're a lovable pair, but do you honestly believe you have a hope in hell of getting the land? We've got an ace in the hole. Meaning? Nigerian oil investor. The oil board hates the majors. They want to see the locals get their rightful piece of the pie. Sorry, I need to take this. <laughs> Fulaki. Hi, Prospero. You're back. I got in this morning. And? Please don't ask. Sorry. Listen, I hope you don't think I'm being forward. But I... But what? I'd really like to see you. Now? If you can. Oh, I can and would love to see you, but I'm just finishing something up, so I'll call you in 10, all right? Okay. Guys? I'm interested, but I have another matter I need to deal with urgently, so uh, let me sleep on it, all right?
Mangosi. Molo baby. Do you know that Who andile? Best look spend it actually with the power of Antoine and Busi. Oh. In Ate Belalapa. That's nice. It is. No, I'm seven to Akuza. That's speaking of Andy. I think I've misjudged him, yes? Um, Gulom Sebenzwam, he's been very supportive. How to him, Dana? Sibling Dabem Sebenz. So is Lung Selele, Lepetlos or Changanana. No, my life was simple. But again, they are Funu Yaka and the Empire, so. What in Ularat? We are understanding, Alan. Dana, someone explain it. And? Ulirato thinks I should take up a position in with cell phone companies. Yes, I told him that I'm very careful. Ulirato, he was a punish on your credit card. I'm going to switch it all I just spoke to Mr. Bada. It seems a court in Lagos has recognized Bola's right to dispute the will. <sighs> Mr. Omeka's affidavit was a clincher. Well, as lawyers are going to have a field day with this one. I buy me assets are going to be frozen for, for a long time, eh? Is Bada strong enough for this? Yeah, well, father used him for most things, but I don't think he's the right man for this one. He plays by the rules. Bola doesn't. I think we're going to have to go on without a buy me money as security. The cash transfers I requested have come through, but it's only going to last a little while. We're eight weeks away from construction. Plus, we're going to need the security of 25 million, never mind the two million a month as running cost. When does the bid money free up? At the end of phase one. God, we need somebody who can cut us some slack. Can they please? Won't you reconsider? Don't underestimate how powerful I am, Mr. Finley. But I'm only asking for three months of bridging finance. You can either stand with me now, or you can take a gamble with my scheming sister and see if she wins. But if you do, be prepared to lose because you will have no friends in Lagos. You know my father wouldn't get involved in anything risky. Mr. Harris, I can't believe that after so many years of business dealings with Abayami and with my father, that you can't take my word for it. <sighs> Fala hi, it's Fala ke Abayami. And I will be the head of Abayami. Fala is not head of Abayami and you cannot take instruction from him, okay? Okay, I'll even put on an extra 2% on your interest charge. All the oil fields will be under my control, and I'm not the pushover my father was. Please call me back urgently. It's about the bridging loan for Abayami. You'd rather have a Bola Abayami as your friend than as your enemy. Okay, we'll talk later. Thanks, bye. Ma'am, uh, Mr. Roland's secretary said to pass a message that Mr. Roland can unfortunately not <sighs> assist with the loan. Damn it. Where's Jacob? On his way. And he called to remind you about the meeting with the bank today. It's a temporary setback. Look, my father's death has caused some hiccups, but Abayami is 100% behind this initiative. The state's in probate, so correct me if I'm wrong, but operations can continue, but no drawings and new investments. Exactly. Gentlemen, essentially, we're looking at bridging finance for a period of three months. What about the RDC? They're in for 15% already. Oh, really? So we're talking 25 million for three months. With an extension win. Look, the, the figure's no problem, but uh, we'll need to interrogate all the details. And we'll have to have our own legal opinion on the state of the probate. Absolutely. Give us 10 days. We can do Monday the 9th, 10 a.m. That's fine. That sounds about good. Thank you. Gentlemen, thank you very much for your time. What do you think? I think they wanted to say no, but didn't have the guts. So they're gonna make us wait for 10 days and then apologize. Where to from now? I could speak to Prospero, although after what's happened, uh... what? Jacob, I've been meaning to tell you, I'm seeing Prospero. Seeing him? How? Oh, for God's sake, Jacob, how explicit do you want me to be? Okay, okay. I don't need the details. <sighs> Is it serious? No, it's not. 
Look, I don't know, but the point is it has no business implications whatsoever. Well, of course not. I just wanted you to know. Good, thank you. Listen, um, Prospero is um, in the habit of using women. <laughs> well, I think we're both using each other. It's mutual. Excellent, glad to hear it. So you won't mind if I talk to her? No, not at all, if you can help. I was thinking that we should uh, knock through there okay. and then remove all the wooden doors so that we can incorporate the space into the house and then build the patio out towards the pool. Okay, gotcha. So I'm going to need a quote for that, uh, the new kitchen and the upgrade on the seat bathroom. Okay. Ah, this is my husband, Jacob Makubo. This is Danny LaRue, the builder. Pleased to meet you, sir. Danny. Nice to meet you. Um, I, I didn't realize when you said building, you meant Real building. No, 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 it's just the kitchen. And while we're at it, we thought we should open the space up. You know, the dining room and the lounge. Could you excuse us one second? Let me talk to you. We haven't discussed this. I know, I know, baby. <laughs> it's a surprise. Okay, look, we, we can't do this right now. No, I think we should before we move in. Lerato, we've got to keep costs low. Why, Jacob? Because things are tight. Very tight. Um, yeah. Hi. Jacob's office is down the corridor. Hey, I'm not looking for Jacob. I'm here to talk to you. Sure. How did you get past security? <laughs> well, didn't Jacob tell about my past life? Well, I'm here. That's all that matters. I'm going to be direct with you. I'm worried about Jacob. The thing is, I don't know much about you and your family, and this worries me a lot. It's nothing personal. I like you, but... Yeah, I don't think Jacob needs his big brother looking after him. If he's worried, then he can speak for himself. Hey, take it easy. I'm not attacking you. Take it easy. It's just that I'd like to know more about Bola. You know, and you know him very well. Constance, tell me, what do you think he may do next? Do you think Bola would come after Jacob? If Bola is threatened, there's no knowing what he might do. Hey, thanks for your time, for Lucky. Nice office. Sorry, man. Been a hell of a day. Ah, uh, shivers straight. Thanks for making the time. Hey, buddy, it's me. Come on. What's up? Okay, here's the thing. Bola is disputing his father's will, and so all the assets are frozen for the time being. Ouch. Yeah. I'm eight weeks away from construction phase one, and I just don't have the collateral. Prosper, I'm coming to you. Cap in hand here, man. I hear you, Jack. Uh, look, um, you could get back on board, uh, negotiate your own terms. Huh? It sounds like a great opportunity. But? I, up to my nuts for this other deal. I mean, I'm way overcommitted. Sorry to hear that. I'd love to help. No. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's the French. Uh, yeah, we got this thing going. How bad is this? It's not good, Prospero. Other members of the consortium are getting jittery. Hell, I wouldn't be surprised if Kumala and associates decide to walk. So no, it's not good. Don't worry about it. My man, hit us again. So how's the new flat? Ah, it's cag matters, all right. Boss in Abandon, Abandon. Ah, background. Hey, Madam Chair, why all the questions? Oh, these are normal questions. 
Yeah, but normally when I'm busy, busy. Normally, we sell up anything, so I know what's going on. Well, it's actually quite interesting to talk about Funuguas because it goes both ways. Yeah. 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 Um, <clears throat> Jacob, I can help you sort out your problem. And what problem are we referring to exactly? This boiler problem. It's not gonna go away. Yeah. Well. Look, I know guys like him, they make their own rules. So if when you come up with court papers and as long as I was alone. Okay, so what are you getting at? I've been talking to some people, you know, trying to find out who good is and when I so that we could get things done. Get what done? Hey, don't play him, Mohul. Yes, he has to be taken care of permanently. <coughs> no, my mail, my mail, my mail. Okay, when his answers are close about clean, also by involved, now we'll handle it. Okay, so Tetan Amachi Tela goes to slang and is a certain I'm not hearing this. No, you are. No, I'm not hearing this. No, you are. Uh -huh. Jacob, if I'm sorted out, Uzak Sus, mark my words. What do you take me for? Jacob, you're a very nice guy. But if you come and lend Uzak, if you lend one of us, Bula Lutata, I always zarai when you don't go. Huh? Andile, I appreciate the advice. I do. I do, but no, that's not how I do business. Jacob, when I can't get home, she's all right. And so I believe it isn't as long as I'm back. But they're fine, young female. Up until that was not as much. But this is not Bob and Flay's name. You should get together with my half brother. You have a lot in common. Jacob, was a soul of an amazon. So my newly discovered father just got murdered by my newly discovered half-brother who's threatened to kill me and take all the funds I need to run my business. Meantime, my wife spends money like water and when I tell her to stop, she resents me. Then there's my brother, who's now my half-brother. He's just come out of jail and he's put a contract out on my Nigerian half-brother. <laughs> Sorry, this just came out. Wow. Sounds like you're in a war zone. This is not you. And it's just, I was so excited about this Abayomi thing and the idea of building a, a, a dream of a Pan-African company. And now it seems like you're drifting further and further away from your dream. You know, Jay, it's not too late to get out of all of this. It's you, I blame you. Firstly, you guys were encouraging it. Yes. <laughs> Minister. Um, did you enjoy your workout? I did. And you? <laughs> I've been hearing rumors about the Abuyomis, but I'd rather get it straight from the horse's mouth. But not here, and not now. My secretary will call you. All the Jimmy in the world won't get me to look like that. I'm gonna take a shower. Here's the deal. There's a window of opportunity, and it's closing. Now, either we're going to firm this thing up or it's going to slip away. Now, either you get on board or we get somebody else. I've had my ear to the ground, and there's some volatility in Lagos that might be beneficial to us. You use the us word, pros. Yes. And I'll use it again if you can answer two simple questions. Shoot. First, how big is my slice of the pie? 
You bring the French, you get 30%. Couldn't consider it for less than 40. We'll give you 35% because we like you so much. Maybe. Next question. Who's your Nigerian partner? We're not comfortable disclosing that information until you've made a commitment. Oh, come on. Show some good faith. Whisper it in my ear. It's Bola Avignomi. Bola Avignomi. But the, um, the Avignomi is already contending for this. There's some legal mess as a result of his father's death, so Bola's doing this outside the family. So what does he bring to the deal? He brings capital. But more importantly, he has a bunch of decision makers in his pocket. Pros, he can swing this thing our way. So, you in or you out? <laughs> You're a brave man to keep me waiting. Brave and uh, worth the wait, I hope. <laughs> Why are you so happy? I was just made a very interesting offer. One that should interest you too. Oh? Why so? Bulla's in the deal. An oil deal? In South Africa? You know, Bulla has absolutely no abiding power whatsoever, don't you? Not as a Biomi, on his own. And it is a very viable consortium, Dwight and... Clancy. Those guys have been chasing us around for years. You're not seriously considering it, are you? Actually, yes. I think you should get out. Oh, come on, it's just business. Get out.